Hi, David here, and I want to show you what I'm going to do with this selection of wedding images in Capture One. So first of all, these images are straight out of camera with no adjustments applied. So by selecting all of them and just picking a style, I can apply some basic starting adjustments to all the images. So if we look in the adjustment tab, we can see we have some exposure corrections, clarity adjustments, and so on. So just a good start point. Also, I can add some basic metadata from the photographer who gave us these images uh, in the form of a preset. So looking at the metadata, we can see it's just added some basic information like website, copyright notice, and so on. So now we've done some basic adjustments, we can go on and just find an image that we can do some more corrections to in Capture One. So let's work with this image and beginning in the exposure tool tab, I just lift up the exposure ever so slightly just to make it a bit brighter give us some more contrast as I want it to be a bit more dynamic as it is a bit too flat at the moment uh, raise the brightness just to lift up the mid-tone slightly and also for a nice matte pastel effect just drop the saturation down a little more as well now those adjustments have lost us a small amount of highlight detail. So I just bring the highlight slider to the right just to recover some of that highlight detail, especially in the dress and so on. If we just have a quick look at the preview there, like so. Next, a tiny bit more clarity. Might not need it just to give us a nice contrast image, but without going over the top. So pretty happy with those base adjustments. Uh, the next thing to do is to look at the color balance and just see if we can do a, a subtle color grade. So in this case, just maybe cool down the shadows a little bit and to bring some warmth back just with the midtones. And if I need a bit more accuracy, I can switch tabs to midtones here and just play around with the color balance until I have something that looks good. Again, option clicking on the reset, we can preview what we've done. So that gives us a nice color grade and a bit more warm tones throughout the skin and so on. Finally, just by adding a couple of local adjustments, just think I would like to just lighten the right hand side of the face ever such a tiny bit. So if we make a new layer called lighten and just choose a luma curve and raise this slightly so that's going to give us a lightning effect and I just want to brush this on with a nice low opacity and low flow so it's very subtle so probably all it needs is something like that if I turn the layer off like so and back on we can see the adjustment so just a small amount to lift that ever so slightly so I'll make another layer and let's call this darken and just to focus the eye a bit, we do the opposite. So slightly drop the luma curve down a little, take our brush once more, and then just darken areas that might be a little bit distracting just to sort of draw the eye in a bit more like so. So it's only a very small amount, but just enough to help focus the eye. If I turn that layer off, just a slight darkening effect, if we option click the reset, you can see the effect of both of those local adjustments. So I'm pretty happy with uh, the corrections that have been done. If we option click our master reset, we can see that's how it looked out of camera. And then finally with the adjustments like so.